Alright, in this video we're going to talk about installing a cable distribution box like the one you see in front of you. Brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com So I'm going to tell you a little bit about this particular cable distribution box. As you can see it's white, it's powder coated. Some of the cable distribution boxes that you buy are just a non-painted galvanized steel and some of them have really sharp edges. This one they sanded all the burrs off and it's not sharp. Now you'll notice in the top here they have three holes for your low voltage wiring to come through and then in the top plate here of the wall the uh, person who drilled these holes took about a one inch auger bit and drilled these holes and you'll notice that these holes are drilled in the center as opposed to out here on the edge of uh, the top plate. So I recommend you drill a bigger hole than this particular hole because it makes it easier to add the wires in the future as things change. Um, it's just better to do it that way. So what we did, when this can was installed, you'll notice here it was pulled out from the, sh from the face of the uh, wall stud by a little bit because when the sheetrock goes up there's going to be a tiny reveal. In other words, the face of this can is going to be it's going to stick out from the face of the sheetrock just a little bit and that gives you enough room to put a bead of caulk down there and finish it real nice and pretty. This particular can has a screw on lid. It has four screws, one in each corner as opposed to a can that has a piano hinge all the way down it. Uh, I prefer the piano hinge because you can get in and out of the can readily whereas with this can you have to take all four screws out if you want to get in there. Now you might be asking why do you need to get in there? Well, every installation is going to be a little bit different. In this particular case, this is a real basic cable distribution box wiring installation. But you can get boxes that are bigger and they have more complex uh, components in them that you need to access. For example, you might put your high-speed internet modem inside of here because down here at the bottom we've put an electrical whip. This is called an electrical whip. It's where the wire just comes out. It's run by the electrician. And then there's going to be a receptacle. Now this box has two knockouts on the bottom for receptacles and uh, the person who did this work decided just to go ahead and surface mount a galvanized single gang receptacle box right there which that's okay because we're not going to be putting a lot of stuff inside this can. It's just used to keep things organized. For example, we have all of these Cat 5's, okay? Four, two of them come from outside of the house to bring phone service in, one of which is a backup. And then we have four coaxial feeds that go out to the house, outside the house. Um, they can be used to bring in cable service or satellite service. And we chose to use four because it's just a good number. And two uh, Cat5 feeds because that's a good number. One is for backup. Then on the other side over here we have all the coax that goes, go to the various uh, jacks throughout the house. And then we just zip tie them on the side. and. You know, when the customer moves in, then he can go ahead and finish those out. One other thing to note, usually the wall studs are 16 and a half inches on center. I haven't measured to verify that these are 16 and a half on center. But you need 16 and a half on center for the cable distribution box to fit. You can see there's a little bit of a gap here. We didn't put any kind of shims or anything. It's, it's sturdy. It's in there nice and sturdy. And we made sure the reveal is the same on the right side as it is on the left side. And then I'll pan back here. And that's going to be the end of this particular video. We've got a whole slew of videos for wiring a house on this page. Please subscribe to this channel. Thank you. All right, so I wanted to show you a can that has the hinge locking door on it. Let's open that up. And there's the hinge. Now check this out. Here's the reveal. You want to, I showed you earlier in the video to, that you want to pull this, the uh, face of this out from the sheetrock a little bit so that you can run a bead of caulk and see how, you know, nicely that's finished. Um, it's a little detail. You don't have to do it, but it's just attention to detail. Now here is a finished electrical receptacle that's built into the bottom of the cable distribution box and then we plugged in a we shortened this wire and plugged in a uh, power strip so that's what that finished product looks like 
brought to you by the website www.allabouthomeelectronics.com. For more information on this topic or other topics pertaining to home electronics, visit the website by clicking the link located directly below this video.